Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. You may have heard in the news that David Hay has a rematch clause to fight Nikolai Valuev next. You may have also heard that the IBF is leaning on its champion, Vladimir Klitschko, uh, to uh, fight Alexander Povetkin next. Understand that Klitschko can fight David Hay next if they want the fight to happen. Because Vladimir Klitschko has multiple belts, and he can give up the IBF belt. David Hay can give up his belt, and the two men could meet for the WBO Heavyweight Championship. Given that the fight is hot right now, Vladimir and David make it happen. Don't Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather us into having to wait on the fight that people want. Also, David Hay has um, told the press and has told confidants that he wants to fight the Klitschkos. He then wants to retire. He might fight Value F again, but he doesn't see himself fighting anyone else. Now, if that's true, if he's going to pass up a possible matchup with other fighters out there, and there's some worthy people like Alexander Povetkin, if he just wants to go after the Klitschkos and then get out of the game early, um, I respect that, but he should then make the fight with Vladimir Klitschko happen right now. Legacy is more important than record. Fans make champions, not sanctioning bodies. Now, I have a video up from last year that I made on this possible matchup, Vladimir Klitschko against David Hay, in which I picked Vladimir Klitschko. I stand by that video. I believe Vladimir Klitschko would win this fight by knockout because he's much more mobile than Nikolai Valuev. He has an excellent jab. In fact, I believe it's the punch in this fight. And he has really refined his technique under Emmanuel Stewart. Plus, of course, he has much more experience than David Hay at heavyweight. However, I believe there is a better way to play this fight. Let me give you some names. Steve Pinnell, Ross Purity, Devaro Williamson, Corey Sanders, Layman Brewster, Sam Peter. Those are the guys, or at least some of the guys, who have knocked down Vladimir Klitschko. In fact, there are even rumors that some others knocked down Vladimir Klitschko in training. Let me continue the list. Lolengo Mock, Carl Thompson, Jean-Marc Mortemek, Monty Barrett. Those are the guys who have knocked down David A. What you have here is a contest of two suspect chins, two very heavy-handed fighters, Two guys who can land heavy punches from distance, neither of whom can fight well on the inside. Let's go further. After his fight with John Ruiz, David Hay himself admitted that he got hit too many times. David Hay's defense is suspect at best. Somebody in this fight is going to get knocked out. I believe... The way to play the fight is to take both men to win by knockout on a straddle, right? You don't want to mess with over-unders because over-unders limit the number of rounds in which you can win. In other words, if I took a seven-round over-under, um, if I thought it was going to end within seven, one fighter could be dominating, but the minute the start of the eighth round happens, I lose the bet. But if I take both guys by knockout, uh, especially if I'm getting better than even money on both halves of the bet, then I'm going to win the bet if either happens. And, of course, both guys would have all 12 rounds to get the knockout. Right? I believe that's your favorite play in this one. Someone is going to get knocked out. Let me also point out, too, 
a uh, great viewer, Federer, pointed out to me that John Ruiz, in a post-fight interview, uh, said that David Hay was the fastest guy he had ever fought. Now, that's an eye-opener because John Ruiz, of course, fought Roy Jones, who's still fast, several years ago when Roy Jones was even faster. Now, you have to ask yourself the question, if slow-handed Sam Peter was able to drop Vladimir Klitschko multiple times in their fight, right, multiple times, then what is lightning quick, Tyson quick, David Hay going to do if he gets on a roll and is able to land some big punches on Vladimir Klitschko? And understand, because both of these guys are long-range artists, neither David Hay nor Vladimir Klitschko has to get that close to you to uh, land the big shot. Let me also point out, too, that Vladimir Klitschko stopped Eddie Chambers on a long-range left hook. In other words, um, you can't even guard against just Klitschko's right hand. You literally have to guard against both hands. And because Klitschko is pretty quick and doesn't telegraph his punches, you don't know what's coming. So the point is, Klitschko is going to land some big shots on David Hay. David Hay is going to land some big shots on Klitschko. These are both very big men. Don't be fooled by weight. The shorter guy in this fight is David Hay, and he's 6'3". These are very big men with very high knockout ratios and very big punches. I don't see this fight going the distance. With regard to the types of odds you can get, and I'm making this video in early April of 2010. With regard to the kind of odds you can get, take a look at the odds you got for David Hay to stop John Ruiz by knockout. You're going to see that they were well north of even money. I'm guessing here, both sides of this bet should be at least one and a half to one or significantly higher. In other words, I'm assuming Vladimir Klitschko will be the favorite. I'm guessing that the odds on David Hay to win by knockout should be at least a plus 250 in American odds um, and higher. And I'm guessing that the odds on Vladimir Klitschko to knock out David Hay, something that has not happened since Carl Thompson took out David Hay, should also be greater than even money. So I believe the best play you can do here is to get all 12 rounds, and I would take both guys to win by knockout. Let me also leave you with this. This fight is at heavyweight, right? It's at heavyweight. Some would call Vladimir Klitschko a super heavyweight because he's almost certain to come into the ring weighing north of 235 pounds, right? Um, David Hay weighed more than 220 pounds in his last fight. You need to ask yourself if more Mech at Cruiser was able to drop David Hay, if Carl Thompson was able to stop David Hay, what's going to happen when David Hay gets hit upside the head by a hard-hitting heavyweight? Somebody is not going to go the distance in this fight. I know I'm going to get emails about the Sultan of Bragamoff fight that uh, Vladimir Klitschko had, and I'm sure some others will point out that Eddie Chambers was awfully close to going the distance against um, Vladimir Klitschko. I don't believe David Hay is Sultan Abramov or Eddie Chambers. I think David Hay is a guy who cares deeply about legacy, who doesn't want to go the distance. Um, he wants a knockout. He doesn't want to win. He wants an emphatic win. I couldn't imagine David Hay for 12 rounds backing up like a Bragamoff or Eddie Chambers. That's not who the guy is. That's not in his DNA. The value F fight was a completely different proposition against the Giant. Here, he's in with the guy who he feels he can knock out. David Hayes going to push the issue. So, too, is Vladimir Klitschko. I believe Klitschko is going to start very defensively, as he always does. He doesn't open up for a few rounds. I believe David Hay is going to force him to open up. I believe this fight's going to be a shootout. Let me know what you think. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.